Hey, boys and girls, it's Miss Jean. How are you? I hope you're enjoying all this bright sunshine and getting to play outside. And I hope you're not sneezing too badly because I'm telling you, when I go outside, I sneeze these days, but it's worth it to get some sunshine. Getting a little bit of a tan. I hope, hope you're being safe and having fun outside. But who's ready for another story? Can you believe we only have a few more until it's summertime and we're going to take a break? But I sure hope everybody comes back next year for CBS. and We're going to have lots of news about that coming soon. So your mommies will be able to tell you soon and what's going on with you next fall. So let's go ahead and get ready for today. Ready? Stretch. Get all the wiggles out. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Okay, ready? Do it with me. This book is the Bible. It's God's holy word. I open its pages to stories I've heard. I like to hear stories of Jesus, God's son. I thank God for giving his word to each one of you. Ready? Let's all say it together, even though you haven't seen each other in a long, long time. But I hope you remember your friends. We've got Anna Beth, who's in preschool. And we've got Caleb and Charlie and Clara and Ivy. And who's left? Who else is in our class? N -n Nolan. And Nolan's listening, I'm sure. So I hope you're all here and I hope you're all listening and you are ready to hear a story with Percy and with Bonnie. And turn on your listening ears. Ready? Let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for your Bible and these stories that we get to hear every week out of it. Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, who remembers the name, it's a big word, the name of Jesus' special helpers? Remember the people he called at the beginning of his ministry? We're all his helpers, but he had 12 very special helpers. What's that big, long word? It starts with D, 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 S. Oh, they're saying you almost got it. Almost. Ready? Say it all together. One, two, three. Disciples. We're all disciples of Jesus, but today we are going to hear about Jesus. Special, special friends. After he rose from the dead... Remember, we celebrated Easter a couple of weeks ago, and that was when it was very, very sad for a little bit. But then there was joy. There was joy that Jesus rose from the dead, and he's alive. So let's listen to hear what happened after he came back to earth. After he rose from the dead, he appeared to his, who? What was that word we just did? the disciples, for 40 days. Well, 40 is a very special number in the Bible. There are lots of 40s going on. We've got the 40 days of the flood with Noah. And I bet your mommies can tell you some other things. It took 40 days, but it's a special day. And remember, last week we learned that he walked and talked with two men as they went to Emmaus. And before that, we learned... Ooh. Bonnie remembers. Do you remember who was the first woman to see Jesus? Mm -hmm. Bonnie's got it. Mary. I think you had that too. He appeared to Mary. But Jesus wanted to spend time with his friends so they could tell others about him. God wanted his special helpers, the disciples, to tell the whole world that he was alive. But you know what? While Jesus was there for those 40 days, he didn't travel around preaching like he did at the beginning, the, the stories we heard. And But he did appear to more than 500 people. That's a lot of people. So many, many people would know that he rose from the dead. 
he wanted to make sure that the people knew he was alive. And during those 40 days, Jesus didn't live with his helpers, the disciples, like before. He appeared to his disciples, and then he disappeared again. That's sort of interesting. That's an interesting fact to know. And during those 40 days, things were not the same as when he lived and ate with them. Jesus used his time to teach his disciples what they should do after he left. God's plan was to work through the people, starting with those 12 men, those disciples of Jesus. After 40 days, he gathered his helpers together at the Mount of Olives. That's a place. And he told them about the work he wanted them to do. He asked Peter, Peter and the other disciples to go and tell people everywhere the good news of how he died and came to life again. And now I'm going to do something I usually don't do in the story, but I am going to actually read to you something because it's so important. I want to make sure to get it right. But what Jesus said to his friends, his disciples, he said, and I quote, that means I'm saying exactly what Jesus is saying. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go to every nation and teach the people. Baptize them in the name of the Father, that's God his Father, and of the Son, that's Jesus, and of the Holy Spirit, that's who lives in my heart and your heart when you believe in Jesus. Jesus said, whatever I have taught you, teach to other people. I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. And that's what Jesus said. Like I said, that's a quote when you say exactly what somebody else said. And so Jesus told his helpers to go, go, and teach others about him so they would believe he is the son of God and the only way into God's forever family. These people would go and tell others the same thing. So everyone had a chance to learn about how, God, how to join God's forever family. And Jesus promised to help them tell all the others and gave them power to do it. Jesus promised he would always be with them. And they would, he would always help them, always love and care for them. I'll put a special love in your heart, Jesus said. He said, people will be able to see that you love me because you love each other. Think about that. If you show people kindness, you're actually showing Jesus. And Jesus did put that special love that I was just talking about in our heart. Who lives in our heart? The Holy Spirit. And Jesus told them that he was going to go heaven to be with his father. They would not see him for a long time, but he promised them that he would return one day. And Jesus turned to them, lifted up his hands, blessed his special friends, and a strange thing happened. Remember what I told you earlier, how it was described? What did he do? He appeared to the disciples and then he disappeared again. You know what? He went back to heaven, back to where he came from, to live with God, his father. And you know what's so, so, so cool about this story? Even today, right now, as I'm telling you this story and you're listening to the story, Jesus is in heaven making a special place for you and you and me and everybody who believes in Jesus. Is that just not so cool? But this is still true today. So remember, Jesus is up in heaven preparing a place for all those people who believe in him. That includes me, it will include you, that is just so cool. That just gives me shivers. Let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for the true stories from your Bible. I can't wait to hear the story next week. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. And Percy and Bonnie left because they, they want to do what Jesus did. He, they want to go tell others about Jesus. And you know what? You could do the exact same thing. And you can show Jesus love by being nice to people, by obeying your mommies and daddies, and all kinds of good things. So you know what? You're a disciple. Remember that. Bye, guys. I will see you 
next week. Have a great week.